Cacao beans. A fragrant bean that tastes bitter when you bite into it. That's why you have to add some sugar. Baking soda. Powder used to make dough rise uh, or remove stains from teacups. Alkahest, a single-use solvent that is used to break down transmute materials. Sulfur, an ore used in alchemy. Saltpeter, a niter ore. Mercury, a common alchemic material. Sulfate, liquid acid. Gunpowder, a powder that burns quickly and explodes, making it useful but dangerous to handle. Ectoplasm, a flossy astral matter. Bronze. We've already been over that. Cotton, halite. 8-bit coin. Okay. A valuable coin that can be found in circulation. 16-bit coin. A rare and valuable coin that can be found in circulation. 32-bit coin. An extremely rare and valuable coin that can be found in circulation. Corn seed, dry seed, potato seed. Already seen those. We've got uh, some battle boots here. Combat boots sold in iron plates. Lethal boots. And assassin's boots. There are knives concealed inside. We've got the knife that we've already got. Uh, rapier here. A single-handed sword for thrusting. Epe. A rapier used in duels. Short sword we've already got. Long sword is a uh, long sword favored by soldiers. Mace is a type of club used in war. Uh, Morgenstern is a spiked mace that somewhat resembles a star. Claymore we're already using. Pelicus. It's a double-bladed great ass. <laughs> great ass, yes. No, a great axe uh, originally designed for harvesting wood. Really? A flamberge. A great sword with a wavy blade designed to deal fatal blows. Doll blade. The work of a forgotten swordsmith. Aw, it's too dull. A... Uh, uh, Nodachi is a long blade used by cavalry in the Far East. Spear, a light spear. Lance, a lance used primarily on horseback. Partisan, a lance with a large broad blade. There's our whip, musketoon, a blunderbuss, a gun with a wide muzzle akin to the mouth of a trumpet. Some rounds, a hairband, we've got a circlet here. It's a crown encrusted with cheap jewels. Oh yeah, give me that cheap jewels. <laughs> Garbo hat, it's a trashy garbage bag. Oh no, an elegant hat with a billowed brim. Okay, I guess it's not a trashy garbage bag hat. I'm just going to imagine it's made of a garbage bag. I feel like that's just that much better. Got a tunic, which uh, we already got on the ship. A leather chest guard, chest guard made of uh, tanned leather. Got the country dress that we're already wearing. A bronze chest guard. Chest guard made of bronze. A uh, chemise. Chemise? Chemise? I don't know. Uh, a thin dress made of muslin. I feel like I've probably heard this before and I'm just like spacing it out. This is a nice dress though. This uh, this would give us more defense, uh, more, more mind, and more intelligence. Very, very nice. Scaled armor. Gives a lot of defense, but not as much uh, with the intelligence in mind there. Uh, armor made by weaving together metal plates in a scale pattern. Eyeglasses. Uh, eyeglasses with plain lenses. One defense, one intelligence. So we would lose some of our defense and some of our constitution, but we would gain uh, intelligence out of it. Whew, thick glasses. These are, these are nice. Eyeglasses with thick lenses. Apparently nerd glasses are all the rage in this world. Uh, one defense, three intelligence, one constitution, and one mind. These are very, very nice glasses. I like those a lot. Got a ring, a cheap ring, a cheap common ring. Uh, not so great. A necklace, three defense, one intelligence, one mind. This is a, this is a pretty good necklace. I like it. Scarf, we've already got that. Tattered scarf, we already got that. All right, that seems to be just about everything here. I think we've gone through it all. Oop. No, I just want to cancel out. Um, how much do you what offer? What are you for... looking to sell? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. 
Thanks. I like the key to the city. Thank that you. Building. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. Cool. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time, sure. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. Sounds good to me. All right, we got the village key. What's up, Nina? Oh, I still owe you my life. It's true. Again, don't get any ideas about dogs. Just stay away. Yeah! Really? What we have here? Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. Ooh. Things, objects, stuff. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Yes, right now, please. Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. But I wanted a selfie! I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. In about three minutes. Alright, anything yeah! over here? No. Let's go see what we got around town. Yeah! <laughs> What's up, buddy? Ah, uh, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I mean, I would have liked it if she provided a whole bunch of free stuff for me, but I guess this is okay. I know, it's incredible. <laughs> so, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. I like that. Just uh, let's let's not try to transmit anything through portals, because uh, you know when that when that happens, you might get like some humans involved, and then people lose their bodies. It's not so great. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. Ooh, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Wow, he gave me a lot of stuff. What nice. are we transmuting this time? Hopefully not me. All right, so we can uh, we can make a lot of different stuff here. Potions. Kniffs. I like me some kniffs. We can make a, a base lard. Which is a standard uh, double-edged dagger. See this? This dagger looks a lot more reasonable compared to the uh, the kniff that we got going on here. It looks it looks proper. It doesn't look all wide and crazy. This thing looks like a uh, uh, a bastard sword that's been shortened. It's weird. <laughs> it bothers me. All right. Um. Let's see here. Short sword, long sword. Um. We've already read about all these. Ooh, a uh, pirate hat. Arr! Let's see here. This is a nice hat. So it looks like it has a little bit of uh, uh, extra stuff. What is that? Like uh, cold cold damage and like smash. Hulk smash! Something like that. I don't know. Um, three defense. A uh, little bit of strength there. That's it's not bad. And it's got some luck on it. Hmm. Might be worthwhile. I don't know that I want to really transmute any of these quite yet, because oh, this is a nice dress, though. This is a very nice dress. It's just, like, good all around. Bat wings. What? Two defense, two intelligence. We'd lose some mind, but uh, bat wings. We don't have enough to make uh, any potions, apparently, down here. That sucks. Don't have enough for uh, making gunpowder, gold, kung fu shoes, <gasps> toy shoes, shoes that emit an adorable squeak with each step. Aww. Ooh, a kukri. A knife with an inwardly curved blade, a poison kukri. A curved knife that has been laced with deadly poison. We just rub some frogs on it. Invisible blade, a blade that has been made invisible through sorcery. So is it like when you swing it, you're just like swinging your hand and nothing else? Um, this looks like I could probably make this because I remember seeing ectoplasm, steel, and mercury. I don't know if I saw silver. This is a pretty nice blade though. Um, mace, 
Spear, lance, whip. Ooh, a thorn whip. If it's if it's the same speed as the other whip, then I'm not so sure about it. But uh, I wouldn't mind trying it. A whip lined with thorn-like spikes. A flame whip. Ooh. A whip that leaves an arc of fire in its wake. Dawn blade, a great sword containing the power of dawn. Dish soap? Like, what are we talking about here? Blue skies, blood-soaked boots that hit with all the force of the falling sky for 12 damage. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, uh, Boreal Rhyme Boots. Boots imbued with an ice deity uh, used by a heroine who saved her homeland. Cool. Uh, the uh, Oleanders, which are alchemical shoes designed for gus, or, uh, guests, both welcome and not. What is that supposed to mean exactly? These are cool looking shoes, by the way. I like that they have like these crazy looking feathers coming off of them and little tiny bows. Are those flowers? I think those might be flowers. And what's what's that little little thing above it? Like I don't know what that little thing is exactly. There's just like this this little bit. Oh, you know what? It probably is like uh, some kind of wrap and then you've got uh, you've got just like a little piece of cloth that goes up your uh, goes up your shin a little bit. Interesting. Shield weapon. A weapon that functions as a shield. Encrypted Orchid. <gasps> ah, it's got uh, it's got some hex code going on here. I I'm sure this actually says something. I'm not going to try and decipher this right now. If someone wants to decipher this, feel free. The Hikari. A sword that purifies evil with its divine light. Moonwake. Moonlight shaped into a blade reflecting the heart's true self. These, these weapons sound uh, very um, uh, uh, fluffy. <laughs> they, have, uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, tonality to the, uh, the words they're using. Very floral. <laughs> All right. Uh, a sword imbued with strange powers originally created uh, by a secretive brotherhood gives strength in times of need. The gold cross. So is this like to uh, to get rid of vampires? Is that is that what this is for? Use sword. A certain ruler of the universe's sword. Its power has faded. Disappointing. Red beast's edge. A mysterious broken long sword fused together with the magi crystal curse. Interesting. I feel like these are weaker than they should be. Like, they sound amazing, but they're, they're not very strong weapons. The Prismatic Heart, a strange rod from another world. The jewel emits a magical light. Deathbringer, crafted by an orc warlord, forged in hellfire. Did he, uh, did he have to come to the alchemist so he could go to hell for a second to do that? Like, what, what exactly is going on there? Uh, Claw of On Moraki. A weapon forged by souls seeking purification. Blood grinder, a cruel and bloody sword of death, merciless upon the flesh. Silent calamity, a weapon that crushes opponents and ushers in silence. Sculptor's chisel, an ice lance, sadly not a sickle, chisels away all of your enemies. Black dragon's ode, a weapon made by a black dragon who fell in love with a fairy. That's, uh, I don't know how that works. Like, is it is it like one of the small black dragons or is it like a really big black dragon and like a tiny fairy? Because, I mean, you can be in love with them, but it's, it's just not going to work out, buddy. It's not going to work out. Renee's Requiem. With her last breath, she imbues this weapon with her soul. Ambivalence. A whip bound by powers of darkness. Charge it to release its light. Ooh, is it like a charge strike weapon? That sounds kind of cool. Got uh, some various rounds. Got a beast beret. A cap fashioned from leather here. Ooh, it's a nice cap. I like it. It takes some of my intelligence away, but all the other things, it looks pretty good. 
his cowboy hat and go yeehaw with this one on. Uh, get some strength out of it, a little bit of defense, bunny ears, get some extra luck here. An accessory that adorns the wearer with the ears of a rabbit. Sweet, we can go to a maid club. Um, leather chest guard, bronze chest guard, iron breastplate. I think we've seen the iron breastplate before, but I think we've seen the others. Uh, an iron breastplate designed not to impede movement. I don't know. It's an iron ble uh, breastplate, so it's going to be kind of stiff. I don't know how it wouldn't impede movement in some fashion. Well, there's a safe ring that we got. Gunman's scarf. A scarf that makes you quick on the draw and increases the firing rate. Oh, so a uh, constitution is going to increase your firing rate? That, that sounds interesting. I kind of like that. Or, or maybe it's not constitution specifically. This, this scarf just has a speciality for that. Ooh, a bunny scarf. Oh, it's so cute. I like it. A uh, scarf with a rabbit motif that is certain to get you hopping. Ooh, it's got some luck on there. A little bit of defense. We lose our mind. <laughs> well, sort of. Um... But uh, it, it seems it seems pretty good overall. You get uh, it looks like a little bit of cold defense, and uh, I'm guessing that's light defense. Oh, and that's the uh, the last of it. So I need uh, hemp. I need a lily tail. I, I really I think I want this thing. This this sounds good. I need to go like full bunny here. Get some of that and get some bunny ears. Oh, apparently I need some lily ears for this too. So I need the tail of a lily, and I need some ears of a lily. Whatever a lily is. We'll go figure that one out later. Looks like you need a hairband along with a durable rag with this one, too. Well, cool. There's, there's definitely a lot of things here. Lots and lots to craft. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I... I'll go with this. If I care about doing things right now. Uh, let's see here. What do we got under prepare? Ooh. We've got FUDs. Lots and lots of fuds. All right, yeah, sure. Uh, rice ball, cooked rice shaped into a portable snack when you feel peckish. Uni rice ball uh, is a simple dish consisting of a sea urchin on cooked rice, delectable. Apple risotto, an improvised risotto made with apple and rice. Surprisingly good. I'll try it. I'm getting hungry. Egg on rice. The ultimate everyman's breakfast. Raw egg and soy sauce over rice. Umaris. Rice uh, wrapped in an omelet. Uh, Amu rice? I'm probably pronouncing this so wrong. A novel idea, but tricky to prepare. Macaroni gratin. Uh, macaroni covered in uh, white sauce and baked don't miss the crispy bottom because you gotta you gotta get down there gotta get down there deep corn chowder a thick but smooth corn soup that hovers between food and a drink fried potatoes potatoes fried in oil which uh, gets all over your hands you won't care tastes too good pizza Pizza dough covered in toppings and an irresistible layer of cheese that Mikey won't soon forget. Oh my god! I hate this joystick. Okay, I, I just gotta use the, uh, the pad instead of the joystick. Flan, a steamed egg and milk custard. Every bite is bliss. Manju, an eastern afternoon treat made of bean paste wrapped in dough. Apple pie. A pie with an apple slice with an apple slice filling uh, that gives it a subtle sweetness. Lemon cream pie. A summer treat made with lemon juice filling and topped with cream. 